Hi, everybody. Welcome to part three of my parents' visit, plus a bonus Sinead. My friend is still here, and we get up to lots of fun stuff. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's just get straight into it, and I'll check in at the end. So it's a, it's a new day. New day. M Mom is taking a rest. Dad's here to work. Sinead's going to yoga at Keela Yoga <coughs> Farm, and I will go with her and just hang around. Okay. Yoga is not my thing. Um, I've tried, I've tried, i failed. Uh, yeah, and it's kind of a gloomy day and it's been raining loads, which is great. My solar system is, the battery's at like 40% or something, so it'll be interesting to monitor that and see how that goes. This will be the first stint that I'll have to pay attention to the solar. We had a really sunny winter last winter, and for the three weeks that it was miserable and rainy, I was actually in Canada, so I didn't have to pay attention to it. So, you ready for some yoga? Ready to do my damn dogging? Yeah. <laughs> In my blanket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't think that's down dog. I don't know a lot about yoga, but I don't think that was downward dog. Um, all right. So let's see what dad's up to. You ready? You got everything you need for the day? Yeah, I think so. Okay. If not, I'll improvise. All right. See you soon. All right. So off to Kila Yoga Farm for some yoga. And Sinead has had a hand in building few of the buildings there so we're gonna look at the progress and check out the natural buildings as well so I'll see you from there So this is the new yoga room. Yoga room and classroom. And I think it's very beautiful. I've really never been much of a fan of cordwood, but I've seen some really nice examples of it recently, and I could be convinced. I could be convinced. They also use it as a classroom. They run a lot of courses here, uh, as well as regular yoga classes for local people, uh, yoga retreats and things like that. So yeah, it's a really cool space. I actually helped to build that little stone wall on the bottom of the cordwood, and I'm hoping to make something similar at my place, but probably twice the height. And then outside, it looks like it needs probably to be finished. Otherwise, the rain will sort of start to wash it away. I don't know what the plan is. Maybe it's just to do it completely straight over on the outside. Although, you'd probably want to leave the bottles exposed. I'm not sure. I'm curious to see what they do with it out here. I think it's a good insulator. Yeah, I have a lot of, uh, I must learn more about the world of cordwood because I don't really know much and I am quite impressed with how this looks. So, Sinead and I helped build this pantry. Not the walls, but the, the wood. And we did a lot of the building. Not a lot of the building, we did some of the building. And what do you think? Oh, it's just amazing, it's so beautiful. Amazing. All the memories. Oh, oh the memories. I remember being up on the scaffolding doing that wall. I do too. I do too. Oh. Good times. Please. Good times on the scaffolding. So we are, uh, we're just leaving Kila. She has had a most excellent yoga course and a little tour of some of the buildings. Uh, back to your old stomping grounds. I know, it's beautiful. It's like a walk down memory lane. Walk down memory lane. And it's been checking it down with rain, which has been 
very nice. I'm very happy it stopped while we walked to the car. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful place. Day. Beautiful day is an exaggeration, but yeah. Uh, well, beautiful day. What, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, a beautiful day if you've had a really long, hot summer in Portugal. And I'm very happy to see the rains. So it's going to be a really rainy, wet week. And oh. a lot of us are excited about that. Not so much. Not so much, Sinead. And I have unfortunately left my window down. Oh well. Sorry. Okay, time to head home. Oh, your ass is getting wet. <laughs> oh, oopsie. So I left my dad here while we went to yoga, and he set up a little, little repair shop, working on the grinder. Last try. And, and if it doesn't work, I have a place to take it for a repair in Fundao, so. I'll get it fixed. Yeah, tried my hardest. Right. Wah, wah. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, I want to get it to go. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. Oh, it almost wanted to do it that time. Sometimes it goes. Sometimes it works. So that's it's wrong because it's you could work it but it'd be awful frustrating yep. if it only went once every five shots or once every ten <laughs> <laughs> or, once every <laughs> or once every never once every never we've got some lemongrass from the garden brewing away in a pot for tea I don't know what's happening. I don't know, what I don't know what's happening over there. Back away slowly. <laughs> don't make eye contact. <laughs> I'll stir my pot. Stir your pot. All right, it's a new day, and it's a very gloomy day, very overcast, and quite drizzly, and quite miserable. But we really need the rain. Uh, the, the one hiccup with this rain is the fact that I have a solar system, and I haven't really had to push it yet, so. Uh, this morning I, I checked it and it was at 26%. My battery was at 26%, um, which is a problem because the system shuts down at 25%. But luckily I have this uh, Blue Wetty Mega Battery Solar Generator thing and I've plugged everything into that except for the lights. So the lights take practically nothing. And in theory, you do get some kind of... Uh, energy even when it's hazy like this although it's very little so hopefully it gets a bit brighter i don't think the sun's going to come out today but i need to get off 26 percent because it's only one percent until shut down and it'll be annoying if the lights don't go on so i'm just trying to keep the lights on and i have everything else plugged into my generator and that includes the fridge i'm charging my laptop up and if i need to charge any tool batteries i'll plug those in as well but what I wanted to show you was our new setup for the tarps. Previously, like I showed you the other day, the water had pooled in the tarps and pulled everything down, pulled the scaffolding into the ground. It was sideways. It still is, actually. We need to do some repairs on that. Um, and it wasn't ideal because it meant that anytime it rained, if I wasn't home to just go out and push the water up, uh, it would do the same thing. And also, I don't want to have to go outside when it's raining and get rid of the water on top. So. What we've done is added some tall sticks that I found in my wood pile, and we've got pointy tent-like structures, and that just means the water will completely shed off of this all the time. Hello. Yes. So you can see the scaffolding has really sunk quite deeply into the ground, partly aided by the fact that we stuck these logs on top of it. Um, the reason we stuck the logs on was to stop it from kind of catching the wind and blowing over. Oops. Ah! But we forgot to account for the water that would pool. Um, you know, it's amazing the things you don't think of that are so obvious later on. So we didn't really think of the pooling water. And rather than blowing away, this thing has sunk into the ground. So we're going to try to work together to lever it back out and put a block of wood underneath. It's frustrating because 
it would have been such an easy thing to do just to stick a piece of wood under there and it wouldn't have sunk. But, you know, these are all the little lessons you learn along the way. And, yeah, won't do that again. But I think once it's all risen back up above the ground, it'll be a really good space for working. Hello there. Hi. He's red. What do you think of this new space? You can stay under here and stay dry, but you can stay outside. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the process hasn't been quite as straightforward as we were expecting, but still pretty straightforward. Um, Sinead is off to sign like this to give power of attorney rather than signing for the land. We're hoping she'd be able to sign for the land, but there's been a glitch. So she'll, she'll give power of attorney to the lawyer. She'll fly back to West Africa and then the lawyer will look after everything once the paperwork is in order. But I think there's nothing to worry about. Nothing there's to worry nothing about. to worry about. So she's off now to the lawyer and then I guess that's it for her, and then the lawyer will look after everything. Help your uncle, finance your aunt. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she'll be back later, and we're going to have a chat about the whole process. So, bye. Doodles. Drive well. Are you okay getting through that super narrow? I don't know. I'm going to try. So you really have to kind of swing far to the right? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try. Okay. Good luck to you. I'll, I'll film it. More, 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 more. You got this. You're good. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. All right. See you later. So work continues on the gas bottle box. Is this the doors? The roof. Are you staying dry under there? Yeah. So my mom stayed at home because it was rainy and miserable earlier today, but it looks pretty nice out here now. So the moral of the story, I think, is never trust a weather forecast in Portugal because it definitely said it would be drizzly and crappy all day. And now we have some evidence of sunlight poking through, which is good for my solar system, but my mom is stranded at home. <laughs> He's not a fan. I hate this. I love it. He's not a fan. Not a fan. See how you just what? cast it aside. That's throwing the bun at me. <laughs> He doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean it, little saw. I mean, giant saw. Sinead is back and she's brought mom. I oh, did you? <laughs> well, we went the wrong way. Ah, I see. And then I had to do like a bit of reversing and then we turned around and uh, basically she's a very brave woman, is what I'm saying. So, how'd you go? Oh, uh, I was absolutely saturated by the time I got there. Because it was pissing out of the heavens. Um, it was very easy. I just went in, signed some documents that were in Portuguese and English. And now she can do everything for you here. She has, she's the you. She has all of my money and she has all of the power. Amazing. So, success? Success! Quest, question mark? Success! Success, question mark. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So, you're back. The weather's taken a turn for the, better. the better. And you survived Sinead's driving? I did. It was funny. I ripped my seatbelt <laughs> off, opened it for and was ready to jump out. <laughs> Wow. And I says to her, everybody's on their own. It's like... Every man for themselves. Okay. So I nearly lost your mom. Please don't kill my mom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're scraping out the in between the rocks. And by we, I mean my mom. Uh, the, the soil. And I'm, I'm going to pack it, repack it with lime. And the reason we're doing here now is because I want to put this gas bottle box here. So I don't have time to do the whole building right now, or maybe even this year, but I do want to get this part done so that when I put the gas bottle box in that my dad's working on, I won't have to move it again later on. So that's what we're up to. Thoughts so far on this job? Pardon? Exciting? Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice and easy. It's very therapeutic, I find. 
Am I getting any little geckos holes? So is this their little house? No, they kind of hang out. Right through first. Well, it doesn't go through the wall. Oh, okay. There's um actually gaps inside. It's oh. the middle part of the these walls. It's filled with gravel. Uh -huh. Mostly, it's not actually rocks. So okay. Sometimes you you just have these big holes. Yeah. That's the idea. Okay. Is you want to fill it in and. You're gonna fill this big hole in now. Right? Yeah, I'll fill every every hole in. Mm -hmm. All holes will be filled. It's a really big one, eh? That's probably deep enough. Okay. <laughs> it's easy to get carried away though. I find it very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good to me. You're not happy to, you're not happy to Sinead is packing to leave the country. She's on her way to Kenya uh, before she heads back to Liberia. And this, Ooh. this is a scoby used for making kombucha. The people in these parts are into fermentation, into kombucha. One day I would like to learn, but scobies freak me out a little bit too much. Well, I mean, this one is literally the biggest scoby I've ever seen. And I'm not sure if I get stopped in customs in any of the countries I'm passing. I'm going to um, explain that this is not the brain of a small child. <laughs> this is actually the, the future fermenting business that I'm going to have in Liberia. It's a future juice. It's a future it's juice. Not, it's not the brain of a small child. It's not, but it definitely it looks like one. It looks like a giant piece of like turkey. Hmm. It feels like a giant piece of turkey or chicken. It's huge. I've never seen one so big. Anyway, it's but horrific. It's horrific. Thank you, the people of Portugal, for donating this to Africa. It's going to Liberia, <laughs> and kombucha will be made. Unless you get arrested Unless and imprisoned arrested. in Kenya. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's a touch and go. I'll update you. Worth the risk. Yeah. Worth the risk of <laughs> prison in Kenya, for sure. <laughs> Where are you going? It's pretty wet out there, man. You sure you want to go out there? I don't want to go out there, but I have to go get my parents. Is it actually raining or does it just sound like it's raining? It's raining. Okay. All right, I'm going to go get my parents. This is the final day. They leave tomorrow. Sinead leaves today uh, in the afternoon. So it's raining again. So not a lot of work will get done, but that's okay. I'll get my parents and then we can just hang out and chill out. Come. Ooh. Love a bit of cold weather, don't you? Goodbye, cold weather. I'm off to find the heat. You better adapt to this cold weather, though, in this new life of yours. Or I just choose my months. Yes. Choose my seasons. The winter's a lot longer than you'd expect. <laughs> Maybe I should have given you that information before you <laughs> transferred all your money to your lawyer. That's fantastic. The cabinets? Ah, she's a thing of beauty. He's done a great job. He has. Well done to him. Yeah, fair play. Brilliant. Bill's coming, Billy's coming down to my house to help me out. Oh yeah, I'll, shows. I'll, hire, shows. I'll okay. hire him out. Yeah, he's okay. amazing. Okay, that's good. What a great dad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dad, five stars. He's a five star dad. He's a five star dad. Right, we're gonna go get him now. And enjoy this lovely weather. 
lovely. Isn't it just so lovely? So lovely. <laughs> I'm so excited to move here. <laughs> <laughs> Getting some final bits of work out of the team before everyone heads off. That's it, that's it half now. Yeah, great. Maybe one here. I felt like Santa Claus actually. Here. When? Like, just Why? Here. You know, when you're wrapping presents and you're doing the corners. This would have good, been a good temporary shade summer thing. Yeah. Would have been good to rig something up temporarily for summer. For what? Like a little shady area. At least to shade my... To shut in a cup of tea, you mean? Yeah, and also to shade the front of the wall. It's when the wall gets battered by the southern sun in the summer. It just heats up so much, so if you have shade protecting it a bit. Oh, okay. so, so the inside doesn't get someone. That's the theory, because the stones, about stones absorb the, the heat, and then it becomes an oven. And I did feel like I was cooking alive at some point in there. <coughs> so <laughs> it looks very... <laughs> we should put hands on shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Sinead's about to head off to the airport, to Lisbon, to the airport. That was weird. <laughs> so we're just, are we sticking with that? Yes. Okay. okay, we're going to stick with it. So we're going to go into Fundao, go to a cafe, have a coffee. My dad's going to stay and work hard. No, ca no cafe stuff for him. And yeah, so toodaloo. Toodaloo. And thanks for everyone for helping. Come yes. In. And congratulations to the land. Thank you. This is a really awkward. Uh... <laughs> and it's really nice meeting you again. Again, again. Yeah. yeah. So and we'll now. see you in May. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bye. bye. Awkward smiles. <laughs> okay, to the cafe. <laughs> What is it? Pastry is lovely. Could be anything. And then it's chocolate at the bottom. The pastry is delicious. So here we are in sunny Portugal. <laughs> Drowned rats. <laughs> the, the pizza box has suffered greatly. <laughs> but uh, yeah. What they don't show you in the brochure. But much needed. So we've been in town. You saw the rain in town, and the, the rain was just as bad here. Probably worse. Probably worse. <laughs> and now, of course, we're heading. I was walking, you know. <laughs> of course, we're heading home, and. The sun is, is shining. <laughs> just just how it goes, I guess. Uh, goodbye, wee house. Bye-bye, wee house. Mm. See you again sometime. See you in May. And you're completely different. <laughs> We've got central heating and fitted carpets. Bye, garden. <laughs> I'll be back. The final weed pulled. The final weed pulled. And it's a good one. It is a good one. The gone weed. That's oh, the best one yet. <laughs> See when it's up. Uh, Don't stop. When it's... Come on, let's go. Uh, you'll be there for days. All right. Mm -hmm. So they're off for another little while. Back <laughs> in April, May, hopefully. Yes. All booked up. I shall make sure the garden is looking sparkling. Oh, good. <laughs> right, see you next time. See you next time. Bye, yeah. everybody. <laughs> see you next time. So that was a bit of a sad goodbye, but I have to remember that both of these trips are bonuses. I wasn't expecting my parents to come back until May, and I wasn't even expecting Sinead to come. That just kind of materialized out of nowhere when I told her there was land for sale nearby. So two really exciting surprises for me, and though I'm sad to see them go, I was really happy to have them here. And I really can't stress enough how important it is to have my parents' support. I'm incredibly fortunate to have that. and. 
if I'm truly honest, I've needed it this past probably year and a half or so. My business is making maps, uh, tourist maps of African cities. And if people aren't traveling to these African cities, nobody's buying maps. If anyone's curious about what I do for a living, you can check out the website up there. But basically, COVID completely decimated my business. It's kind of crawling back now. But the support of my parents, both financially a little bit and also having them come and help me out, has been absolutely incredible. And I'm really grateful for that. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing, I don't think, without them. Or I would definitely be doing things at a much slower pace. So, Mom and Dad, thanks again for all your support. It means so much to me, and I know how lucky I am to have that. So can't wait until you're back in May, and I think the people that watch this channel feel the same way. You guys are very popular, and Sinead, also popular. So uh, I'm looking forward to having you back as well, hopefully in April, and then as my neighbor for the foreseeable future, which is going to be pretty amazing. And so otherwise, it's just back to me. There'll be some videos about doing carpentry stuff, lots of work on the land, and the usual thing you're used to on this channel. So it's been three very exciting videos with other people, and now just me. It's only me. It makes editing the videos kind of boring when it's just me looking at myself. I've really enjoyed having my family and my friend here as well, but I'm also looking forward to getting back into the usual routine and cracking on with work in November. So as always, thanks for watching everybody. Please like and share and comment and all that stuff. I love hearing from people and I'll see you in the next video.